Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, Brady here from the Brady Brown Channel. Welcome to another video. Today's video is uh, uh, on Battlefield 4. Uh, the overall topic will be Battlefield 4 and I'll be talking about how EA has moved to Steam. Uh, it's been actually a while since EA has moved to Steam. Not too long ago. It was about three months ago, maybe. Uh, give or take. Three months ago since EA has moved their games over to Steam. Um, but yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. So, the overall topic that I wanted to talk about today was just Battlefield 4. And why it was so successful post-launch. And why it's still semi-successful to today. So, uh, Battlefield 4, it came out on October 29th, 2013. Seven years ago. Seven years ago it came out. Um, from what I've heard, I wasn't really there at launch. Uh, but from what I've heard and what I've seen, is it was a terrible launch. Uh, like most games are, it was a terrible launch. Uh, they had server issues. <clears throat> they had connectivity issues, and they had netcode issues. I know netcode was a big bad thing in, for Battlefield 4, early Battlefield 4. Um, so, that actually has improved over the seven years, which you would hope so. Um, but, that it, the, the way it's improved and the way they released their DLC... Even if you had to buy it, and now, now, now you can you get it for free, for the most part. It's like thirty bucks. You get Battlefield Four and all the DLCs um, on Xbox. They had it to where you can get it for free for a month if you logged on to Xbox uh, during that month. You could get that DLC pack for free, which which is great. But the what EA did and Dice did for Battlefield. Four is what they should have done for Battlefield One and Battlefield Five. Um, but the thing is, uh, nowadays it still remains one of my favorite games, if not my favorite game to play. Uh, it I would have to say it, it's my favorite game, my favorite FPS. Right? I love Arma for what it is. I like Gary's mod for what it is. They're both modded, right? That's the whole premise of it, is the modded part. It's, it's you can, hours of playtime just on mods. But for being a base game, I think Battlefield 4 is my favorite base game, unmodded, just base game. Battlefield and Minecraft, right? But Battlefield 4 is my favorite FPS, for sure. Um, but... Currently, from what I've seen via Steam charts, this is just Steam charts, not including, excuse me, not including console, and I th believe Origin is not included in this, just Steam. Uh, it's Battlefield 4's 24 hour peak was 1421, 1421, and its all time peak on Steam is 5,800. 81. That's as of October 21st, 2020. That's not bad for a seven-year-old game. I mean, I'm if you look on Steam charts, some games that just came out can't even get a hundred, and it's crazy how Battlefield, you know, is a triple A game, but how it's retained that popularity and that player base. And it, it's, it's deserving because the developers have really pushed the game, you know, not, they haven't, you know, melted it like Rockstar does with Grand Theft Auto V, but they've improved on it. They've, they've improved on the base core game and that's why people still play it and that's why people like it. Uh, so, to go back what I was talking about earlier, how uh, EA came to Steam finally, they, they came back to Steam, 
I think that was really good on EA's part when it comes to just business in general. You know, I'm glad they finally realized that people don't want to download BS extra game launchers. I always did. I never liked having to download Origin in order to play games. Now, now, I do know when you play one of these EA games, you still have to download Origin. But, you don't have to launch it through Origin. Origin is just a background app just like you play, just like the Rockstar Game Launcher. It's stuff that you have to download, but it's not stuff that has to be on. You you can make it to where it's not a startup app. When you're playing Battlefield, it's going to be on. But when you're not playing Battlefield, it's not going to be on. And that's what I like. That's what I like, and I'm glad Steam... Or, I'm glad EA came to Steam, finally. It's good for their business. If they're going to get game sales, it's good for their games. They're going to get more players. And it's good for Steam. It's good for Steam. And it's good for Steam not only just to have more games and to finally have EA games back, but it's good for their business because they're trying to compete with Epic Games. Epic Games didn't get EA games, from what I know. From what I know, currently, they didn't get any EA games. So for EA games to be a origin slash, you know, Steam exclusive, that's huge for Steam when it comes to income and, and for EA. That's good for EA. Uh, some modern problems currently with Battlefield 4 is uh, the Punk Buster. So I know the Punk Buster is out of date. Punk Buster, n no one uses it as anti-cheat anymore. Not only is it a bad, pretty bad anti-cheat, it's out of date because it's really fucking old. But it has an issue. When you first download uh, Battlefield 3 on Steam or Battlefield 4, you'll get, and you try to join a multiplayer game. You'll be able to play it for maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Then you'll get kicked. It's because Punk Buster is broken. The default Punk Buster that downloads with Steam and that has you install with Steam. First time setup or first time launch. It's out of date. It's outdated. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to uh, Punk Buster, the Punk Buster website, the official website, and download the updated Punk Buster. I'll, uh, I'll make a video on that, and I'll link it down in the description when I make it uh, later on, like up there too. But that's, that's really the only modern problem. I mean, Battlefield doesn't have official, Battlefield 4 doesn't have official servers anymore. That's, you know, that sucks, but... Uh, it seems like the community has is really keeping the servers up and alive, which is ultimately keeping the Battlefield 4 player base alive. Um, the future for Battlefield. So, as you know, Battlefield is a seven-year-old game. There has been, what, three Battlefields since its launch. It's been Battlefield Hardline, which I personally liked, but could have been better. I personally like Battlefield Hardline, but it could have been better. Um, Battlefield 1 was an improvement on Battlefield Hardline, but just quite didn't get the popularity as Battlefield 4. Uh, however, it did have its own c good, pretty big community, uh, but for a while, and it probably still does, For I haven't really played in a while, but it probably still does. I know it had a really good popular community. But, uh, yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't played, I haven't, I haven't played Battlefield 1. Uh, Battlefield 5, uh, that was a flop. It uh, genuinely was a flop. Um, I liked it, but I know the core Battlefield community did not like it. I liked it because it's World War II, and I love learning about history. I like playing games that revolve around history. So if I get a World War II game, hell let loose. If I get a World War II game and I get to play it and it feels like World War II, I'll play it. Uh, and I'll like it most for the most part. And that's why I like Battlefield V. They could have done a lot more. They, they felt like they gave up early on the game, which is bad on their part. They, there's no Rush, Russia. There's no really uh, Nazi Germany. Like There's no... There's early war and there's end war, but there's no mid. 
they just left out the middle of the war. Uh, they uh, they had I think a little bit uh, Africa, uh, northern Africa battles, uh, but they left out the middle of the war. They left out the core chunk of the war. So that's why Battlefield ended up not being like ba Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4, its better life, its core popularity was in the middle and towards the late of its lifetime. Unlike Battlefield 5, it never had that popularity spike. It really didn't. It did, I mean, it did when uh, the, the Pacific Theater came out. And I like the Pacific Theater, but genu genuinely, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't play it anymore. Uh, not nearly as much as Battlefield 4. But I really hope uh, Battlefield, the new Battlefield next year, 2021, I th it might come out. Uh, I hope, really hope it's a modern, either modern or uh, Cold War era. I do like Black Ops Cold War. I like the time period is. It is in. I like the gameplay. I like the multiplayer. I played it. Video will be out soon. Um, but yeah, I like Cold War, and I I hope either Battlefield goes modern or it goes Cold War. I, either one, I think the player base, if if they execute the marketing correctly, unlike Battlefield Five, I think they'll get the core player base back, and I think they'll be back into competing directly with Call of Duty games. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm going to get ready for the release of Call of Duty Cold War. Already pre-ordered. Already played the beta. I have plenty of gameplay that I'll post soon. I have a video coming out of me uh, killing Shroud and Myth and stuff. I had a fun game with against them. Uh, but yeah, I'll have that coming out soon. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe and turn notifications on so you know when the next video is out. And uh, yeah, guys, Battlefield will always be in my heart and in the core Battlefield community's heart. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.